So in this video, we will see how you can pass query parameters to your Next.js API in a, get, in a get request. So I am using the same source code that I used uh, in my previous tutorial video where I showed how to build a REST API in Next.js. You can refer the same for the same for, for like how to get started on this on building REST APIs in Next.js 14. So uh, I just walk you through the code. So here is the the APIs that we have written. So it's inside src app api users that i have the route.ts file inside the route.ts files here we have the function which handles the get request so here currently it's querying one other endpoint and returning the json data what we'll do is we'll see how we can like uh, pass parameters on this thing so i just this is this thing is already running so i'll just run it for you to see API slash users now when you query this thing it's returning the JSON response after querying the API now let's say I want to pass in something like name equal to Roy or something so I want this I would like I want to access this name or this query parameter inside my get request so for this thing what I need to do is you need to add a parameter here let's say a request let's try to log this thing and see what it will render so, uh, request is RDQ. I just try to hit then my endpoint once more if you see it's getting hit once more and here's the current log of this thing the request is the next request yeah as you can see here the logs and all it has information related to the get request the method is get if you scroll a bit down here you can see we have url info inside you can see we have the first parameter now now you need to now let's see how you can access this thing so for to access this thing we just need to as you can see it's a url stuff right so we need to create a url object here so what i'll do is i'll create something called const url which will be a new URL, yeah. Request dot URL, right? And inside, if you can see, if you see here, we have something called search param. So we need to access that, right? So this should give you the URL here. If I try to log this thing, console dot log URL is. That should show you the URL here. I just save it and try to hit the endpoint once more. Now, if you see, we have something called here the URL. Now, this here we have the URL that we locked. So we are trying to access this thing, the search. Yeah, you can either fetch it from here or you can use here. So I just try using the search pattern. So we can create another object. Search pattern will be equal to new url search parents and you can pass in url dot search pattern right now this should give you the search parents right i'll just log the search parent here let's see hit the endpoint once more If you see here, search param is this. Now to access the name property, you can go like search param. Now this search param might be having functions to get the each of the entries. You can call get, enter the name of the key, and just save it. Hit the endpoint once more and says name is right right you can also add multiple stuff to this thing so if i add name and age equal to 10 yeah so we just need to get that thing name is this which is I 
just reload yeah name is Roy and just him so this is how you can access search patterns from inside a get request in your next JS API so I hope you find this video useful do let me know your thoughts and suggestions in the comment below thanks for watching